Good day students. In this video, we will be learning about the types of chemical reactions. So primarily, let us recall what we have learned about a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction involves breaking of old chemical bonds and formation of new chemical bonds. That is, the bonds which are in the reactants are broken in order to form the new chemical bond and to form the product. So what happens during a chemical reaction? In a chemical reaction, the atoms of the reacting molecules or the elements, that is the reactants, are rearranged to form a new chemical compound or a new molecule. Second, old chemical bonds between the atoms are broken and new chemical bonds are formed. The third one is bond breaking absorbs energy, whereas Bond formation releases energy. So in this picture, we could see that during the bond formation, heat energy is released and during the bond breaking, heat energy is absorbed. So how are chemical reactions represented? Let us see that. So let us take an example, which is methane. On reaction with oxygen, it gives carbon dioxide and water. So this is just a simple word equation. Generally, we know that chemical equation or a reaction is represented by chemical equation. Right? So let us see that. The characteristics of a chemical reaction is represented by a chemical equation. And in the chemical equation, the reactants and the products are represented by their chemical formulas. So, let us represent the previous equation with their chemical formulas. So, methane. The chemical formula for methane is CH4. And for oxygen, it is O2. And the products formed are carbon dioxide and water. So, the chemical formula is CO2 for carbon dioxide. And for water, it is H2O. Now, the compounds or the elements which undergoes reactions, that is the reactants, are shown to the left of an arrow. So the arrow is present in the middle and the elements or the, or the compounds which are present left side of the arrow are the reactants. And the compounds formed, that is the products, are given on the right side of the arrow. And the arrow indicates the direction of the reaction. Yet the reaction was an incomplete one. Because according to the law of conservation of matter, an atom cannot be created or destroyed. Hence, we, the number of uh, atoms which are present in the reactants should be equal to the number of reactants present in the product. The number of atoms present in the product. So, the equation must be balanced. So, if we add 2 near O2 and 2 in the H2O, we could get a balanced equation for the previous equation. Next, for, next, the chemical equation provides information on the physical state of the substance and the condition under which the reaction can take place. So, during this reaction, all the reactants are in the gaseous state. That is, methane is in gaseous state, oxygen is in gaseous state. And when they combine, when they react, they give carbon dioxide that is the product which is also in the gaseous state and the byproduct water it is also in the gaseous state. Now let us see the types of chemical reactions. Based on the manner by which the atoms of the reactants are arranged, chemical reactions are classified as combination reaction, decomposition reaction, single displacement reaction, double displacement reaction and combustion reaction. Now, let us see each of the reaction briefly in the further slides. The first one is the combination reaction. From the name itself, we can understand that combination means is to combine or to join. So, two or more reactants combine to form a compound. So, combination reaction is also known as synthesis reaction or composition reaction. So, let us see the general formula. When the reactant A combines with reactant B, it gives a compound called AB. Let us see an example for the combination reaction. 
When hydrogen gas combines with chlorine gas, it gives hydrogen chloride gas. So the reactant A, that is hydrogen gas, reacts with the reactant B, chlorine gas, to give the compound AB, that is 2HCl, which is nothing but the hydrogen chloride gas. Depending on the chemical nature of the reactants, the combination reactions are classified into three types. The first one is when an element and another element combines, it gives a compound. So in this type of combination reaction, two elements react with one another to form a compound. The reaction may take place between a metal and a non-metal or both the reactant may be non-metals. The example is when solid sulfur reacts with oxygen, it produces sulfur dioxide. Here both the reactants are non-metals. So we can see that when sulfur reacts with oxygen, it gives sulfur dioxide. Next type is when a compound and an element combines, it gives a compound. In this case, a compound reacts with an element to form a new compound. The example is when phosphorus trichloride reacts with chlorine gas, it forms phosphorus pentachloride. Next type is two compounds combines to give a new compound. So the example is when calcium oxide which is nothing but quicklime. It reacts with carbon dioxide to give calcium carbonate. Now let us see a simulation video supporting this re-equation. So quicklime is taken in a beaker and distilled water is added and we need to leave this solution for few minutes. We could see that there is a rise in temperature and the calcium oxide, the quick lime, is completely dissolved. Next, the lime water, that is the calcium oxide water, is taken in a test tube and it is closed with a cork. Next, carbon dioxide is passed while blowing. Right, we exhale carbon dioxide. So when it is added to the reaction, to the compound, it turns into a milky substance a milky appearance of lime water takes place and this is due to the formation of calcium carbonate as uh, carbon dioxide reacts with this lime water it turns milky which is which represents the calcium carbonate as precipitate decomposition reaction in a decomposition reaction a single compound splits into two or more simpler substances under suitable conditions. It is opposite to the combination reaction. Let us see the general reaction. When the compound AB is split into its simpler or into its single element which is A plus B. This is known as decomposition reaction. Let us see an example. There are three main classes of decomposition reaction. They are thermal decomposition reaction, electrolytic decomposition reaction and photo decomposition reaction. We will briefly see all these reactions in the further slides. Thermal decomposition reaction. Here we need heat energy for the decomposition to take place. Let us take cupric carbonate as an example. On heating cupric carbonate, it decomposes to give copper 2 oxide and carbon dioxide. As the molecule is dissociated by the absorption of heat, it is otherwise called as thermolysis. So this equation says that copper carbonate, cupric carbonate on reaction, it gives copper 2 oxide and carbon dioxide. Let us see a simulation video supporting this equation. Cupric carbonate is taken in a test tube and this test tube containing the cupric carbonate is heated in the Bunsen flame for few minutes. While heating we could see that there is the change in the color of the substance. This indicates that the uh, carbon dioxide is released and copper 2 oxide has remained in the test tube. So copper carbonate decomposes at about 290 degrees Celsius giving off carbon dioxide and leaving 
copper to oxide. Next is electrolytic decomposition reaction. This reaction involves electrical energy for decomposition of the reactants. The bestest example which can be given is decomposition of sodium chloride and it occurs on passing electric current through the sodium chloride aqueous solution. The sodium chloride decomposes into metallic sodium and chlorine gas. This process is also termed as electrolysis. So this equation gives the process. So to NaCl in its aqueous solution on passing electricity, it gets converted into the metallic sodium and chlorine gases evolved. Next is photo decomposition reaction. Here light energy is used to carry out the decomposition reaction. The best example is decomposition of silver bromide. When silver bromide is exposed to light, it breaks down into silver metal and bromine gas. As the decomposition is caused by light, this kind of reaction is called as photolysis. So the equation here states the process. Silver bromide on exposure to light, it decomposes to silver metal and bromine gas is evolved. Let us see a simulation video supporting this example. So the silver bromide is taken in a watch glass and it is exposed to light. And for after few minutes, we could see that there is change in the color of the salt, that is the silver bromide salt. And at the end of the process, we could see that the silver bromide undergoes decomposition in the presence of light, giving off bromine gas and this metallic silver is remained. Next type is the single displacement reaction. It is a reaction between an element and a compound. When they react, one of the elements of the compound reactant is replaced by the element reactant to form a new compound and an element. The general equation explains the process. That is, a, a reactant A is taken and the compound AB is taken. When they two react, the reactant in the compound BC, that is B, is replaced. It is displaced and A occupies its position, giving AC and B. So the bestest example for single displacement reaction is when iron is placed in copper sulfate solution. If the copper sulfate solution turns into FeSO4 plus Cu where copper is displaced by iron. Let us see a video. When the iron nail is placed in the copper sulfate solution the solution turns, the blue solution turns into green. We can see that the iron Fe in the nail is displaced into the solution and the copper is removed. So less reactive Cu2 plus ions are displaced from the copper sulfate solution by more reactive Fe2 plus ions. The color of the solution changes to green due to the presence of FeSO4 solution. And the brown color of the nail is due to the presence of the copper coating. Next is double displacement reaction. When two compounds react, if their ions are interchanged, then the reaction is called double displacement reaction. Ions of identical charges are only interchanged, that is, a cation can be replaced only by another cation. This reaction is called metathesis. So, in a general reaction, we could see that Two compounds are taken. One is AB and the other one is CD. So in the CD, the C is displaced by A. And the C takes up the position uh, in the first rea the first compound a, uh, and it forms CB. And A takes, place, takes the C's place to give AD. So the example given is when barium chloride reacts with sodium sulfate, it gives sodium chloride and barium sulfate where the barium takes the sodium place in the sodium sulfate and the sodium takes the barium's place in barium chloride. In a double displacement reaction, either one of the product must be a precipitate or water. By this, there are major classes of double displacement reaction. They are precipitation reaction 
and neutralization reaction. Precipitation reaction is where an aqueous solution of two compounds are mixed. They react to form an insoluble compound and a soluble compound. That is, we could get a precipitate. Hence, this reaction is known as precipitation reaction. The other one is, sol is the other reactant is soluble in the solution. For example, when the clear aqueous solution of potassium iodide and lead nitrate are mixed, a double displacement reaction takes place between them. So, when potassium iodide and lead nitrate is mixed. When they two react, they give lead iodide, which is the yellow precipitate and potassium nitrate is dissolved. It is soluble as in the aqueous solution. Next is neutralization reaction. It is another type of displacement reaction in which the acid reacts with the base to form a salt and water. It is neutralization reaction as both acid and base neutralizes each other. The reaction of sodium hydroxide with hydrochloric acid is a very good example for neutralization reaction. So the sodium replaces hydrogen from the hydrochloric acid forming sodium chloride and a neutral, neutral soluble salt. So sodium hydroxide and hydrogen chloride hydrochloric acid is taken and they both react to give the sodium chloride and water as a byproduct. This reaction is neutralization reaction. Combustion reaction. A combustion reaction is one in which the reactant rapidly combines with oxygen to form one or more oxides and heat energy is released. We get heat and flame from the LPG gas by its combustion reaction of its constituent gases. LPG gas is one of the bestest example for the combustion reaction as we use it in our day-to-day -day life. Another example is when methane reacts, which is a hydrocarbon, reacts with oxygen, it gives carbon dioxide and water is evaporated. So this is also another example for combustion reaction. Based on the direction the reactions are also classified into reversible and irreversible reaction. And the reversible is denoted by a double-headed arrow. Whereas irreversible reaction is only denoted by a single-headed arrow. Reversible reaction is nothing but we can get back the reactant once the product is formed. Hence it is denoted by the double-headed arrow. The best example is when PCL5 gives PCL3 and Cl2. PCL3 and Cl2 that is phosphorus trichloride can react with chlorine gas to give phosphorus pentachloride. Phosphorus pentachloride on decomposition gives phosphorus trichloride and chlorine gas. This is one of the good examples which we can give for the reversible reaction. Next is irreversible reaction. Here, we cannot get back the reactant once the product is formed. So, when carbon reacts with oxygen, we get carbon dioxide and heat. Here, we cannot get back carbon and oxygen once carbon dioxide is formed. So, let us see sum the summary of this video. First, we saw what is chemical reaction. It is a breaking of old chemical bond and formation of new chemical bond. Next, we saw how to represent a chemical reaction. We need to see whether the reaction is balanced or not and we need to mention the physical state of the reactants and the products and we also need to mention the condition under which the reaction takes place. Next, we saw the types of chemical reactions. The types are combination reaction, decomposition reaction, single displacement reaction, double displacement reaction and combustion reaction. We saw all these reactions briefly with suitable examples. Next we saw reversible reaction and irreversible reaction. I hope this video would have given you a clear cut idea about what are the types of chemical reactions with its examples. Thank you.